Good morning everyone. Today we will discuss about the concepts of cell theory. Cells are the basic building blocks of all living things. The human body is composed of trillions of cells. They provide structure for the body, take in nutrients from food, convert those nutrients into energy, and carry out specialized functions. Cells also contain the body's hereditary material and can make copies of themselves. So, uh, hindi lang naman sabi doon, living organisms ay mayroong cells. So, this one is animal cell and plant. this one is plant cell. So, cells have many parts, each with a different function. Some of these parts, called organelles, are specialized structures that perform certain tasks within the cell. Cell theory. Uh, number one, all living organisms are made of cells. So, sabi ko nga kanina, lahat ng living organisms sa mundo ay uh, made of cells. Cells, number two, cells are the basic unit of life. Kasi pag sinabing cells, ang laging pumapasok sa ating isipan, siya yung ano, building block, uh, basic unit of our life, diba? Number three, cells arise from pre-existing cells. Number four, Hereditary information is passed from cell. Number five, all cells have the basic chemical composition. And number six, energy flow occurs within the cells. So next. The three parts or tenets of cell theory are a little updated in terms of modern biology, but still serve as a good general model. The three tenets of cell theory are discussed in detail, detail below. Number one, or, all organisms are made of cells. Gaya nga nang sabi ko kanina, di ba? Lahat uh, made of cells. Lahat ng living organisms sa mundo ay made of cells. Cells are the smallest unit of life. Each cell is a membrane of, of semi-permeable phospholipids wrapped around cytosol or a solution of water and dissolved solutes. All cells rely on DNA to hold the information necessary to produce the molecules they use to obtain energy. Although, the methods of obtaining energy vary widely all organisms, obtain energy to grow and reproduce. So, nag-grow din tapos nag reproduce din. The, this first tenet of the cell theory is mostly true, but the discovery of viruses lead to a complication viruses while they use DNA to or RNA to reproduce. Do not have cells or cellular membranes. Viruses typically use a host cell to replicate. In this case, the virus appears to be living but does not create its own cell. Ginagamit niya lang yung host Niya to replicate. Uh, some scientists argue that viruses are not living, thus cell theory is not violated. Number two, cells are the most fundamental unit of life. Diba sabi ko nga kanina, sa, pag sinasabing cell, uh, building block of our life, diba? Organisms can be single cells which hold all of the components necessary for a metabolism or they can be more complex more complex organisms divide the various metabolic tasks into different groups of cells, called tissues. These tissues are ar arranged in con compartments with membranes that separate them from other tissues. This group of tissues are called organs. A group of organs functioning, to functioning together is an organism. Excuse me or an individual creature. Each cell is distinct from the cells next to it, and each function independently, while contributing to the output of the organism as a whole. So next, 
Cells come from other cells. As far as we know, no cell on earth currently has arisen spontaneously. All cells are the result of cell division. When a cell is large enough, it replicates its, its DNA and important components. These components can be then be divided into do, two daughter cells, which are copies of each other. Variation in the DNA in each cell can lead to changes in how they function, which can result in them divide, dividing at different rates. So next, the cell that reproduce more than the other cell will pass on more of its DNA. The purpose of every cell or organism is to reproduce the DNA in cells. This third tenet of the cell theory has yet to be disproven. No scientist has ever created a functional cell without replicating another cell. Although, some scientists are, are trying. May mga scientists na tinatry na sinasabing uh, functioning cell without replicating another cell. If they were successful, it will give proof of, to how life could have evolved. Diba? Involve ang life natin. It is thought that a self-replicating molecule mutated, developed the ability to produce a membrane, and thus the first cell was born. The cell was such a successful form of life that all life since has used the same basic template. So next, cell theory, the microscope we use today are far more complex than those used in the 60s by Anthony van Leeuwenhoek, a Dutch chap keeper who had great skill in crafting lenses. Despite the limit limitation of his now ancient lenses, van Leeuwenhoek observed the movements of protista, a type of single-celled organism, and sperm which he collectively termed animalcules. In a uh, yung microscope yun yung ginagamit para makita uh, to to see the dif uh, makikita yung mga katul ng cell ganyan mag mag pwede magamit yung microscope. In a 1665 publica publication called Micrographia, experimental scientist Rob Robert Hooke coined the term cell for the box like structure he observed viewing cork tissue through a lens. In the 1670s, Van Leeuwenhoek discovered bacteria and protozoa. Later, advances in lenses, microscope construction, and staining techniques enabled other scientists to see some components inside the cells. So next, so yun, tapos na. Thank you!